I got to ask you a question, Seamilk. Yes. If you were in Tianjin right now, yeah. People know Tianjin, right? It's the word. Nah, maybe not. Though. It's a very important city for China. Import. Instant. Important city. Maybe you heard about that massive explosion that happened there. It was like a nuclear bomb going off, basically. But it was they were illegally storing chemicals in a warehouse at the port with no safety regulations or whatever. And it blew up, destroying, you know, it literally was like a, a big, like as if someone attacked. And yeah, it was insane. It was, they, you saw the burned out it's like cars. like a Tianjin explosion. Yeah. On anyway, it's also very important for China's finance because it's mm. a big port up there. Yeah. Uh, and the fact of the matter is it's kind of going into lockdown right now, like Shanghai. Yeah, so it's near Beijing, by the way. Yeah, it's very close Yeah, they're doing a, uh, by the way, Tianjin's a massive rival city for Beijing, and Beijing doesn't like Tianjin. Right. And kind of like how it doesn't like Shanghai. Mm. So if you think about it, um, it makes a whole lot of sense that they would not put Beijing into this horrific lockdown like they're doing with Tianjin, just yeah. like they did with Shanghai. So anyway, because people knew what, what had happened in Shanghai, but don't believe anyone if they tell you that the Shanghai lockdowns are over because they're not. No. Not at all. Nope. People are still locked down. Uh, some people are getting like a 40-minute a, a window to go shopping if they've got... We'll, we'll talk about it later. It's very complicated. Anyway, so people in Tianjin are like, oh, no. They're locking us down. We've seen what happened to Shanghai. So what did one very adventurous man do? Let's have a look. Let's take a look. This is his, how he got out. So if they can get outside the perimeter, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, but could potentially not be in a lockdown zone. Yeah. Of course, they're tracking this. Brave gentleman, if you're listening, uh, there's a man on a paramotor as he flies over the city of Tianjin yeah. trying to escape the lockdown. Yeah. Which was, uh, which I just love to see. Clearly, you know, it would have gotten caught. Yeah, but he tried his. Well, you see, bit. like how they've blocked the road off there and stuff. Yeah. Um, look, it's it's actually quite ridiculous how bad it's gotten. And you've seen people trying to like swim with homemade rafts and yeah. trying to to get out of the Shanghai lockdowns and so on, and people trying to escape, climb down ladders and all sorts. Yeah. Honestly, it's been tough for people that have been stuck in places like Shanghai and Tianjin and various other places around China. The zero COVID policy is. Outlandish man trying to sweep the water back uh, into, into the away sea. for the o away from the ocean or into the ocean into because, the ocean because to be honest it's the same thing it's the same thing yeah what's going on here so in Western China they realize that they're kind of having a problem you know that they're pushing the zero COVID thing right right and this their new propaganda effort is to like look at the rest of the world that's being like what is going on in this crazy dystopian nightmare with them spraying disinfectant all over wearing hazmat suits yeah and they're just doubling down sure. they're like okay let's do a propaganda video where there's a thousand of these guys spraying disinfectant sure. ruining everything yeah like but wait a minute what about rural western china like the desert regions and stuff we got to get some propaganda out there. So they get these medical workers in full hazmat suits for your listeners out there with hammer and sickle flags. Yeah. Gong Chan Dan, which is on the horses. Chinese Communist Party. On horses. Going out there to test the locals. You got people standing on a sand dune, by the way, in a line yeah. about to get tested. I got to yeah. tell you, that's the stupidest thing ever. We got vaccinations and testing happen out in the desert. I mean, you know, back. the population density is really not an issue over there, right? No. It's open air desert. No. Yes. <laughs> I think getting them in that line. <laughs> that was propaganda. Yeah, but getting them in that line is more dangerous than just letting, leaving them be. Right. Okay. Yeah. You got to wear a mask when you're on a sand dune in the middle of ch Western China. Yeah. That's how it goes. And those guys, though, seriously, it is. It's like stormtroopers or something. It's just outlandish. Yeah. It's just absolutely insane that they thought this was going to be appealing to people. I mean, even Chinese people are laughing at this. Like, what are you doing? Why are they all lining up on the top of a sand dune anyway? That's the thing is that they're so out of touch that they get this order from the government and they yeah. do it. And then they put it out online. And Chinese people are like, they're getting banned for laughing at this because they're like, you're so out of touch with what people yeah. think. Yeah. They think their citizens are actually like mentally challenged. Yeah, I mean, look, because... It doesn't make sense. If you actually look at this layout, I'll go back a little bit. You can see the testing vehicles. The testing vehicles, where they've got all the equipment and stuff, look, it's down there. Okay? It's down. It's down in the valley or whatever. But they marched everyone up to create a queue on the top of the sand dune, rather than just test them down there where all the stuff is. Yeah. Isn't that dumb? It's kind of like the truck thing where they don't back up to the yeah, source. Yeah, because they, they, they probably thought it's going to look better, more picturesque. Yep. To have everybody lined up on the top of a freaking sand dune, yeah. Rather than just let them get tested down where the actual stuff is, they drove up there to drop them off, 
to go stand to on go a sand line dune. up in a sand dune. Yeah, and then have horseback <laughs> medical workers with communist sickle flag, hammer and sickle flags. It's dumb. It's incredible, really. Yeah, it's really dumb though. Yeah, incredible or not, it's stupid. What else can I say? <laughs> Where are they going? <laughs> They're just being dumb. Is what they are. Anyway.